rarest gemstones and minerals ever seen. Number 13, Black Opal. Out of all the variations that opals come in, the rarest and most valuable of them all is the Black Opal. The Black Opal happens to be the national gemstone of Australia, and for good reason. It's believed that around 95% of all opals come straight out of the Lightning Ridge Mine in Australia, New South Wales to be precise. The other 5% comes from Brazil, Mexico, and the states of Idaho and Nevada. Though, recently some stones have been found in Mali of West Africa and in Ethiopia. Their color pattern that resembles that of fire in combination with their scarcity puts them at a market value of around $2,355 per carat. Black opals are actually comprised of an amalgam of silicon, oxygen, and hydrogen. Number 12, jadeite. Until recently, the jadeite mineral has been quite the mystery, but now it's known that the main place to obtain it is in Guatemala, with certain samples of grayish and white jadeite being obtained in the California region, most notably in San Benito County, California. The use of jadeite has been dated all the way back to the Stone Age, where it was used in the axe heads of over 180 axes found throughout the British Isles. The most expensive piece of jadeite jewelry was a necklace with 0.5 millimeter jadeite jadeite beads that sold for an unbelievable $9.3 billion at a 1997 auction. Jadeite's composition is made up of aluminum, iron, and silicate of sodium. Number 11. Alexandrite. Alexandrite was first discovered solely in the Ural Mountains of Russia, but can now be unearthed in places such as Brazil, Madagascar, Tanzania, Sri Lanka, and even India. The most popular theory of its discovery is also a controversial one. It's said to have been discovered by a Finnish mineralogist named Niles Gustav Nordenskjold, who named the stone in honor of the future Tsar Alexander II of Russia. Alexandrite is well known for its unusual ability to undergo dramatic color changes depending on the gem itself and the light conditions presented. Then again, this color change also depends on your viewing angle. Number 10, Benitoite. Sometimes referred to as the blue diamond, Benitoite is a gemstone that is recognized by its notable blue color. The stone is mostly found in the waters of the San Benito River in San Benito County, California, where the stone has also been named the state's official gemstone. Some sources claim that Benitoite has been unearthed in Arkansas and in Japan, but that they're not of gemstone quality. A wondrous feature of this gem is how striking it looks when viewed under a UV light that allows it to emit a fluorescent glow. This fluorescent property isn't fully understood, even though its chemical composition has been known for decades. Number nine, muscovite. First discovered in 1967, this rare mineral was found at the Musgrave Range in South Australia, for which it is named after, and small samples have also been discovered in Antarctica, Greenland, and even Madagascar. Because the samples are so small, the first one that was large and pure enough to be cut wasn't discovered until 1993. It's believed that as of 2005, there are only eight muscovites to exist that are actually cut to shape. Number eight, Yeremyavite. This mineral was discovered way back in 1883 by a French mineralogist named Augustin Alexis de Moore, who named it after the Russian scientist Pavel Vladimirovich Eremev. The crystal was found on Mount Soktui in Siberia, Russia. Since then, it has been described as being found in the Eiffel district of Germany and in the Pamir Mountains in Namibia. This rare aluminum borate mineral is comprised of variable hydroxide and fluoride ions. Number seven, Powdredite. This mineral was found during the mid-1960s in the Powdredi Quarry of Mount St. Hilaire, Quebec. However, it wasn't until 1987 that the Powdredite was fully recognized as a new mineral. Even then, this mineral wasn't described in depth until 2003. As stated by several different sources, it's believed that only a relative few will ever come into contact with this mineral and let alone even hear it mentioned. Number six, Grand Didierite. This is considered to be an extremely rare mineral and gem that was first seen in 1902 on the island of Madagascar. It was named in honor after the French explorer Alfred Grand Didier, who once studied the island's natural history. Grand Didierite comes in a bluish green color and is located almost entirely in Madagascar, although there was a clean faceted sample that was found in Sri Lanka. Grand Didierite is also pleochroic which means it's able to absorb different wavelengths of light differently, and that results in different colors, such as the same ability with the gems tanzanite 
and alexandrite. Number 5. Painite. This gemstone was first discovered back in the 1950s in Myanmar by a British mineralogist named Arthur C. D. Payne. For the next several decades, only two fragments of the hexagonal mineral were known to exist on Earth. By the time the year 2005 rolled around, there were still less than 25 discovered pieces of painite and the Guinness Book of World Records had declared it the world's rarest gemstone mineral. However, that was 11 years ago, and since then, the origin of the original stones has been found, along with two other major locations that have led to the discovery of thousands of small samples of painite fragments. Even so, they're still considered one of the world's rarest minerals. Number four, red beryl, also known as Bixbite, red emerald, or scarlet emerald, red beryl was first reported as far back as 1904. Even though its chemical compound is closely similar to that of aquamarines and emeralds, it's actually considered to be rarer than both of them. What gives the mineral its red color palette is thanks to the presence of manganese 3 plus ions. It can be found in parts of New Mexico and Utah, where it's actually proven to be quite difficult to mine. Because of this, Prices for red beryl are known to reach high levels and have even gone to be around $10,000 per carat for stones. Number 3. Amylite This rare gemstone can be found mainly in the eastern region of the Rocky Mountains of North America. Amylite is an opal-like gemstone that is solely made up of the fossilized shells of extinct animals known as ammonites. This makes amylite one of the few biogenic gemstones that exist, along with pearls and amber. Amylites weren't officially recognized as gemstones until 1981, when they were given official status by the World Jewelry Confederation. That's also the same year that commercial mining for amylite began. Number two, tanzanite. It's been said that tanzanite is a thousand times rarer than a diamond, which might as well be the case, considering the fact that it can be found almost entirely near the foothills of Mount Kilimanjaro. This is where the perfect conditions lie in order to form the mineral. Like Grand Didierite, Tanzanite is able to produce striking shifts in color based on the crystal's orientation and the certain lighting conditions. Caltech's geology division states that this is because the color variations are caused by the existence of vanadium ions. Before we get to number one, let us know in the comments below which one of these rare gemstones was your favorite don't forget to subscribe. Number one, red diamonds. Did you know that diamonds come in a variety of colors? In fact, diamonds can range from being yellow, brown, colorless, blue, green, black, pink, orange, and red. That's also the same order of how rare each diamond is classified as, with yellow being the least and red being the most. Not only that, but diamonds are also the hardest natural substances that form here on Earth. Just like the colorless diamond, the red diamond is made purely out of carbon. However, what gives the diamond its red color is actually a deformation of their atomic structure that's known as a plastic deformation. The Musayef red is the largest red diamond in the world, among the little known other red diamonds that have been discovered. 